giant fungi. That certainly is a problem. Welcome back to the bacteria realm. We're inside the puddle now. Protists are common inhabitants of this realm. Have a look at those critters. What? You don't go on a micro safari every day. This is insane. Where did that high duck on the tardigrade? You're my favorite. Oh, this is so cool. I love the colors. Like the way things just pop, you know? What are those? They're the protists, but you know. Another protist like the big one. This species hunts, so their prey must have ways to defend Seriously? themselves that we can harness. Huh. See if you can find something this protist likes to eat. Right, like this pie, this thing. What's this thing here? This is a diatom, another type of protist that does photosynthesis. Interesting. Silica cell walls make them pretty solid. They're a tough nut for other protists to gulp down, but you can give it a try. Um, I, can, I, can, I, can I eat it? Is that what he's asking me to do? I want to eat you. I want to eat you. Okay, what about this little guy? No? All right, what are the starfish up here? This is an or that. another type of protist. You can tell because they have pseudopods, little bulges that kind of resemble feet. I don't know what kind of feet you've seen, dude. Purple thing, no? The, the green thing. What's that? What's that? Give me that. It's a light bulb. LED bulbs are more energy efficient than the old light bulbs. Well, I mean, yeah, that's, that's just very true. Human. Okay, this thing. Not all protists are hunters. Some like to hang out in algae like this and feast on them like cows on pasture. Hmm. That's fun. Okay, is there anything here that has a defense mechanism that I need to know about? Feed protists, question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, can I, can I? Be careful to stay out of range of that neck or the protist might decide to eat You hear duck. that duck? I'm, I'm gonna get duck smacked. I'm gonna get him smacked. Get him, get him, duck! Take him down! Attack the protist! Alright, well, that wasn't as exciting as I wanted. Sorry, that was so boring! Okay, let's see if it wants the tough nut to crack here. Here, buddy. You want, you want this? Yeah, eat that. How's that feel? Oh, see it? I told you diatoms wow. are tough. Ah, you found bacteria. Yeah, that guy? These bacteria look humble compared to the protists, but they spread everywhere thanks to their clever survival strategies. Huh. Um, okay, let's scan that guy then, huh? Ah, you found yeah, bacteria. I, I know. Oh, These bacteria okay. Grab the bacteria. Thanks to their clever survival there. strategies. All right, all right, how's that react? Let's see now. Oh, oh, it's flipping out. Oh, he's not having a good time. He's spewing. As you can see, these bacteria have oh, an ingenious geez. method of spreading. Once they're in the protist, they use its resources to multiply. Holy crap. As soon as there are many of them, they start poking holes in its membrane, which lets water in and eventually bursts Oh, the that protist. is so brutal. This lets the bacteria escape out into the environment. That is so brutal. They just absolutely murdered that protist and look at this place. So bacteria have ways to get out of right. protists again, even after they were eaten. Usually that doesn't end well for the protist, but we don't have to go that far. We just need to make the protist release its human size. So, snack. come on, let's go to the molecular realm to see how it works. Um, okay. I feel like we could just kill the protist. It's not like we need to make sure it's alive, but that's. Is that an airplane? Definitely sounded like an airplane. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. Oh, <laughs> it's so bubbly. We're in the molecular realm. But this time you're getting the literal inside scoop. You're on the inside of a protist, huh. standing on the membranes holding it all Seriously? together. Seriously? Didn't think this is how your day would go. No, huh? no, I thought we were just gonna play with a rubber ducky. Okay, what do we got? Is that a rocket ship? A nuclear bomb. Oh. Awful at any size, really. Yeah. Let's, uh, can we just throw this one away? Can we just trash it? Don't need, don't need that. Guess human size? Okay, goodbye. Please handle that responsibly. All right, what do we have over here? 
That's not just any asteroid. That's the asteroid that probably wiped out the dinosaurs. What? You. You. You're the reason that little foot eventually died. You monster. You monster. All right, let's start scanning some of this stuff. This is a receptor. Sure. A type of protein that's an essential part of the communication infrastructure of the cell. They receive messages and trigger responses. Yeah, Each sure of them are. is tailored to fit a very specific signal protein so that there is no unnecessary chatter inside the cell. It's crazy if this is all one cell. I'm going to wait for that thing to spawn, okay, duck? <laughs> I love him. There she blows, and boom. Rabies, the deadliest virus on Earth. What? We should definitely return that to the health lab right away. Yeah, that's true, though. You get rabies, you are done. I've seen, like, videos of people that have actually gotten it, and they become hydrophobic, where they cannot drink water. It just, oh, it's just, you don't want that. Ugh, guy, get rid of that. Rabies, bacteria. Goodbye. Why is all the deadly stuff down here? Like a hypodermic needle? What is that doing there? All right, what else we got in here? This is a receptor. A type of protein that's an essential part of the communication. So that's the same thing, the just different colors. They receive okay. messages and trigger responses. Living in fresh water with a body filled with Whoa. chemicals is a risky business. Protists have evolved to maintain a delicate balance between the water on the inside and on the outside. Are these Reddit downvotes? Okay, let's get the hypodermic needle. Ah, a vaccine. Let's get that back to the health lab, where it could do some good. Ah, finally something good in this realm. Everything else has just been very deadly. Uh, it, that size. Bye. Okay, so what's with the down arrow? This is a protein produced by the bacteria that we fed to the protist earlier. Huh. Its shape should match up to one of the receptors here, so they can connect like puzzle pieces. Oh. Let's try it and see what happens. Uh, wait, can I, how do I, oh, duck. Grab one of those proteins and drop it onto the matching receptor. Uh, okay, I think it's this one, right? That seems to kind of fit. It looks like a person, like, look at, look at that butt. See that butt there? It's like a person doing an upside down splits and we're just about to drop this in between. Never mind, where, where does this go? <laughs> I don't know what this red ball over here is. I can't go over there, okay. It's not, th it is this one. That one isn't a match. There are lots of receptors here with different jobs. Try another one. Br bruh, I was. This is obviously the correct one over here. Here we go. Ugh. This is how the bacteria set themselves Whoa. free. That protein is making a hole open in the surface of this protist. And you and I will snatch that concept right up. Yes, we will. We're going to make some holes, baby. Or to dig one hole each day. Excellent. If we want these proteins to have the same effect on the giant protist, we need to scale them up. I'm never right about how big to scale it up, but let's go human-sized. Uh, sure. So hopefully that will free the duck so we can... I think that's everything we can learn here for now. Get him? And who knows what else that slimy glutton has managed to gobble in the meantime. Oh, he's probably eating Back most of the, the city. Human realm. All right, uh, how many ducks are we missing? We need one more duck, and he's inside the protist, so we are all set. Let's go. Launch! Oh, it's just so goopy. The protein only works from the inside, but we can't wait until the protist finds it. Feeding time. On the it. drone is your best bet for feeding the proteins to the giant protist. Okay, we're just going to grab that. Time to deliver a protein-packed lunch. Put it over here in the goop. Oh, duck. Duck, no! Don't worry. Duck has been through worse. Oh, okay. There we go. Bacteria would have kept opening holes until the protist died, but we just want our stuff back. Let's shrink the protist before it decides to have another snack. Uh, I don't have enough shrinkage in yet. I gotta go find more more stuff, I think. Oh, man. I'm glad you're alive, duck. Sorry about that. Okay, but there should be another duck somewhere. I saw him flying over here. I lost him. I lost the other duck. I gotta find the other duck now. Maybe he's, like, behind this and we have to shrink it first. Okay, that means we have to find some other stuff that doesn't belong. I think we're missing... Probably just one thing. Ugh. I hope someone has a mop and bucket. Ah, oh, yeah, that's true. So, okay, we have seven of nine, so we gotta find a few more things. Let's go to the bacteria realm. Feel bad for anyone that's living in the city. First, it was giant ants, 
then a giant tardigrade, and now a giant single-celled hunter? I mean, how do you deal with this? Okay, it's gotta be... Hi, tardigrade. How you doing, buddy? Oh, look. That's the tardigrade we just shrank. Is it really? Much better at this. Franklin! Size, oh. How you doing, little buddy? I love him so much. If anything bad happens to Franklin, I'll kill all of you. We must protect our own. I don't see anything appearing or disappearing. Okay, is that that's 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 not like an eggplant or something, is it? That there we go. Okay, something. This is an amino acid. They make up proteins, so they're incredibly important to your ability to be alive. Oh, well, I appreciate you and everything you do for me. Thank you, buddy. Okay, is there anything else? I think Ah, there we go. Okay, yeah, that does not belong here. This is my jam. <laughs> oh, narrator. Boom. Human, please. And we have enough shrinkagen. Okay, let's go shrink that protogen. Shrinkagen capsule is unlocked and ready. Let's head back to the human realm. All right, do we see duck anywhere? All right, we, we should be able to shrink it first, so let's do that. I think he's behind it. Blast! Again. Third time for charm, right? <laughs> now then, didn't we still have something to do in the mountain realm? Um, yeah, we gotta clean up a duck, but first I gotta find duck. There, good as new. Just needs a little cleaning. Did we, wait, did we, did we get the duck? Maybe we got it. I can't, I can't see. Oh, maybe we did get him just by releasing him. Because I don't see him anywhere. Oh, if I miss capturing that duck, I'm going to be so upset. To the mountain range. Oh, no. Those clouds are probably not good. Where were we? All right. Restoring order to the city. Uh-huh. No more outsized bath toys around. Knew I forgot something. Yeah. What is, um... Uh-oh. I've detected more abnormal shrinkage in behavior. What is happening but now? this one is odd. It's not a creature. Okay. It seems to be more of a strange fog. Let's check the city, but be careful. Uh, do I have like a gas mask? I t okay, can I get in there with you, duck? It will screw you, this rubber duck. This rubber duck ruined everything. Okay, let's go to the collection. No, it didn't count. Oh my God, I am so unhappy. Oh, look at this. These are all the different things that you can collect. Oh, that's wild. There's a lot of stuff in here. This is cool. I'm having a lot of fun. We got films, toy bundles. What? There is a mixed reality portion of this, which we will play after we're done. Uh, okay, let's go check the city, shall we? I'm really, I'm really unhappy about that. Oh, boy. Here we are back to our regular size. So what would you say is the problem this time? I'm going to say it's the mushrooms, my dude. Get that, get that resistor. A resistor? Who could resist? <laughs> Not me. Get in here. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit smaller. Just a tiny little bit smaller. Yeah. Then this is, what's this? This one is bread mold. One of the most common fungi. Huh. It's what you see on stale bread and rotten fruit. Or in the coffee mug that sat on your desk for the last two weeks. Okay, well, wow, you they are. They can grow wherever they find food, oxygen, some water, and warmth. You are really calling me out about that coffee cup, huh? Okay, I feel like you don't belong here. If the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, then ATP are the fully charged batteries coming out of it. Oh, that's something. All right, do we see any ducks? I'm so, so incredibly unhappy right now. Hi, Grandma, how you doing today? Okay, this is a thing. Ah, giant fungi. That certainly is a problem. Fungi grow quickly and are incredibly good at breaking down organic matter yeah. up to and including rocks. I'm sure you can guess what that would mean for the city. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I would never want to live in this city, uh, especially with this this guy around leading the lab. You just, you ruined so many people's lives. You ruin everything. That looks like cordyceps. And I think we might become a zombie. All right, what do we got here? We got some, some mushrooms. Actually, only a small percentage of fungi grow mushrooms, which are the fruit of the fungi. Huh. They produce and keep the spores that concede new ones. Oh, that's... that's interesting. Fungi come in many shapes. Some are round like a ball, while others may be shaped like coral, shelves, cups, or even brains. Brains? The cordyceps? Care about this guy over here. 
<laughs> this fluffy balloon must be a puffball mushroom filled with spores. Instead of just relying on wind to spread them, puffballs eject their spores when a raindrop falls on their head or when they're poked by animals. Huh. Yeah, well, that's good, good for you. Stop sign! Uh, can I collect that? I don't know why I have this, but we have the stop sign. <laughs> oh my gosh. If I didn't know any better, I'd say they want to tell us something. That... what? See, that's a clever puzzle, like removing something here and having the duck come out instead of them just being hiding around the level. Careful, only a few percent of fungi are truly poisonous, right. and red cap mushrooms are the poster child for that Oh, bunch. so that's the dangerous mushroom. Do not eat that mushroom. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. We'll leave that there. Anything else? The fog. These are spores, packets of genetic right. material, like millions of plant seeds. Oh boy. Only the few that reach warm, dark, and damp surfaces will grow. Like inside my lungs? If you don't get rid of them, the flooded city will be a fungi forest in no time. Oh, just breathing this in would kill the entire population. This is bad. Okay, so what do we got to do? Investigate the spores in the insect realm. All right, let's drop. Still have a silver stoplight, so got that. Welcome back to the insect realm. See anything interesting? I mean, I see the actual spores in that ant. The, the ant has a gas mask. Wait, no, wait, wait, hold on. It's like a space helmet. Dogs in space, sure, but ants in space. When negatively charged particles touch something that conducts electricity, the extra electrons jump ship and travel through the metal, creating a static shock. Thankfully, Duck has a tool called an electrostatic collector that has positively charged plates. I'll get back to you, Since Duck. Since negatively charged things are attracted to positively charged things, you can use it to attract the negatively charged spores. Go on, try it out. Yeah, I will. Well, I just collected a city. Can you tell me about this? Nah, it's fine. All right, bye, city. Okay, so what did I was not listening to him because I was busy grabbing this. Oh, you are just right there. No, no. No! Duck! Duck! What the hell? It just took... Okay, what's he doing? Nicely done. Oh. The electrostatic collector works great here, but if we want to gather up all the spores in the city, we're going to need a lot more power than the lab can supply. So what do I do? Duck! Oh, I'm so glad he brought you back. No, 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 no. I can't, mm, that makes me so unhappy. What am I doing with this? We have the ability but not the power to use positively charged electricity to move the spore cloud. We can attract the cloud with the electrostatic collector, but we still need to destroy it. Don't bring it into the ship. Okay, wait, hold on. There's gotta be something we can do here. Scan whatever these are. Ooh, good thing the wave didn't hit these bird's nest mushrooms. Normally, when a raindrop hits the nest, the egg-like spores are knocked up to one meter away Jeez. and wrap around vegetation using their sticky cords. Ah, uh, don't talk to me about sticky cords. Okay, can this ant do anything? Okay, uh, is there any way I can... What's this? Hello? Mushrooms are incredible recyclers, breaking down dead organic matter and making the nutrients available to living plants and animals. So they eat death and make life. Nature is metal. No, it really is. Blue cheese. Mm. One of the ways in which humans intentionally eat mold. Wait, really? It's made by mixing in spores that. from the edible mold penicillin. Huh, that's fun. Blue cheese! Blue cheese! Okay, this, this, what's this? A patch of mold is an intricate network of thin strands that connect to one another, creating a much larger surface area for collecting nutrients than a single slab of mushroom. Sure. Uh, I still need to find a power source. The thread-like pieces that grow from mushrooms are called hyphae. Hyphae? They secrete enzymes to break down organic material, then absorb the nutrients that are released. Some hyphae can also produce spores. Well, that's fun. Good for you, hyphae. Lichen is an example of fungi forming collaborative relationships with another organism. Photosynthetic algae or bacteria move in with the fungi, getting access to water and nutrients in return for providing sugar to their oh. host. It's a pretty sweet deal. A sweet deal? I could really, if I had like some of that on my arm, just be getting sugar rush all day. 
fungi actually help create soil by breaking down organic matter, including rocks. Yeah. It's theorized that long ago, fungi enabled other plants to grow on land by developing soil for them to latch onto. What's this ball thing? This fungus can fling its little orange Damn. orbs full of spores up to six meters away. This is why the species is called cannonball fungus. I like it. Okay, I found nothing to help my cause though. Uh, none of this. No, yeah, I can't even get duck. I can't. I don't know what to do. Investigate the bacteria realm. Oh, that's not where we are. Okay, let's let's drop down there. I'll be back for you at some point, duck. Gotta get rid of that ant. Still have a stop sign too, so oh, you're intimidating. Welcome back to the bacteria realm. We're inside one of the fungal cells called hyphen. Oh my god. This is the part of the fungi Ooh. that does the growing, so it needs quite a bit of energy. See if you can find its energy source. That's terrifying. Oh, they're like the buses with mouths. Hi. Are you gonna be you gonna be tricky for me too? Oh, okay, well we got one. Um, <sighs> alright, we got duck out there. Well, here comes the bus again. Here we are. Mitochondria. That's a mitochondria. Our houses of the cell. Get it, duck. They're responsible for turning nutrients into energy that the cells can use. A fungi cell like this has many mitochondria to produce all the energy. Of course. Needs. Good job. Okay, what are, what are these in front? No, what's this? The Golgi apparatus, that's this stack of flattened pouches, is where proteins are packaged up to be sent to their various destinations around the cell. Wait. Kind of like when something you order online gets put in a box to be shipped to you. A cellular battery should give us power but it might need to be a lot bigger. Oh, okay, we got a mitochondria there, that's good. That's helpful probably, what have, what have we got here? Each cell has many of these ribosomes where proteins are created based on the instructions stored in DNA. Oh, what is the floor? What's going on down here? This is the nucleus of the fungi cell, which contains most of the fungus DNA. Very important, but not a power source. I can't, I can't. There's the stop sign. Okay, I sorry, I just needed this to grab a shoe. So I can put that back. Great. Okay, it's gonna be Ah, what are you? Hold on. Is that grain of sand conscious? What's the consciousness lab been doing all what? this time? Why I don't should I hurt it? Should I hurt the grain of sand? Insect size, please. That's creepy. Okay, anything else hiding out around here? How you doing today, Duck? <laughs> Uh, I don't like that at all. Alas, poor Yorick. The health lab probably wants you back. Alas, poor Yorick. I am Hamlet. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. Human skull. What are they? What are they doing? Oh, that's something up there. Is that a battleship? You found a spaceship. Or a spaceship. These were retired in 2011, but they're still useful for our space videos because they're so recognizable. Ah, oh, they really are. That was my space shuttle impression. Human size, please. That's a mitochondria. Okay, is there anything else popping up around here? I think we're good. Okay, so where are we going? Increase the size of the power source. All right, little fella. You're going to the human realm. Boom. That's going to be a really big mitochondria. My sensors are detecting something blocking what? you. You'll need to take care of that first. Um... Block it, blocking me? Okay, okay, like go to the insect realm first? This is all rather mysterious. Is it the lamppost? I believe you've already sent something to that scale. Oh, it is the lamppost. What, what, is, what is the point? Mm, stupid freaking lamppost, why are you here? Wait, wait, I have an idea. No, 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 come back, bring that back. I need that. If this goes to back, bacteria scale, or insect scale, maybe it'll stop the ant from picking up the duck, right? It makes, it makes sense in my brain. Okay, let's get a mitochondria up in here. Oh, 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 oh yeah. That's not quite right. It needs to be even bigger. Um, you, you, you sure about that, my friend? Harky darky. I mean, if we want a mitochondria to just consume the entire city, then we've come to the right place. Oh boy. I regret everything. Oh, <laughs> that should be more than enough power. Now Duck can grab it and use it for the drone. Wait, like, we have to go to mountain size? Okay, hold on. I want to go to insect size and see if we can go get Duck down there. Okay, so there's the stop sign. Yes. 
Yes? I think I solved this problem. Scan it. Yes! Yes! Ha ha ha! Suck it, Ant! Suck it! Okay. Alright, is there anything down here appearing that we need? We're still missing a few things. I don't see anything. Alright. To the mountain realm. Wait, how many ducks do we need? Still missing one. I'm so mad. So freaking mad about that other duck. Let's go see our giant mitochondria, shall we? Oh. And here we are. Wow. That spore cloud has really Shoot. spread. Good thing we have a way to gather it up. Look at all the Use mushrooms. Use vacuum beam to pull in that mitochondria and power up. That is so, so much fungus in our city. Okay, duck. This is your moment, buddy. Get it in there. Nice. Oh, you're gonna be so powerful. From the powerhouse of the cell to the powerhouse of the. Look drum. how powerful he is. Now, go gather those spores. Uh, okay. All right, you can come back to the ship now. Um, is there a duck hiding out anywhere here? Maybe just hiding in the hills. Okay, let's go back to the insect room. All right. Uh, the spores are gone. Is that? Oh, was I supposed to gather the spores in the mountain area? Okay, well, hold on. I need to go molecular for a minute, all right? Oh, boy, what is happening down here? So much. It's like this beautiful cotton candy forest, but I don't think we're supposed to be here yet. So let's go back up to the mountain. All right, duck. Get out there. Get those spore clouds, right? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Yes! We can gather them up, but how do we get rid of them? We need an even closer look. Let's go to the... I was realm. just there. You're still missing one cloud. There it is. Okay, we got them all. <laughs> what? what do I do? Uh, okay, to the molecular realm. All right, well, I'm back. D duck! We are on the surface of one of those spores. Hmm, looks like we need to devise a solution out of... Hmm. Ah. Get it? Because these are animal kills. Always good to have spare batteries. It really around. is. Ah, perfect. Okay, let's bring that up. Yeah, we're missing a lot of stuff. How many are we missing? I have every duck except one. I am very upsetty spaghetti about that. That probably shouldn't be there. Oh look, a duck <gasps> coin. Probably doesn't scale well. Oh my gosh. Ducktails. Me beautiful money. Anything else making weird appearances? Is that a something? This looks like a lissa virus. Oh, never mind. It's just a pickle. <laughs> oh, I make that mistake myself all the time. So don't even like. Don't even worry about it. Just kidding. A human pickle, please. Is that enough? Is that full? Then I think we're still missing one thing, but I don't see anything else here. We'll find it. All right, let's scan. Air is a mixture of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and small amounts of other gases like CO2. Sure, sure, sure. Luckily, it's not very reactive, yeah. so it won't suddenly decompose and rearrange into new molecules with other atoms. That's um. But we can change. No, oh, but do we want to? I think maybe we should leave air alone. We've already ruined most of these people's lives. Air molecules have stable chemical bonds, so their electrons are arranged in a way that keeps their atoms together. If we could disturb their electrons, we could create new reactive uh -huh. molecules, molecular cannonballs, to shoot at the cell walls of our cannonballs. Spores. You say? That's water vapor. Uh huh. If we could collect all the water out of the air, the fungi would shrivel up and die, along with everything else. So that's not the best way of dealing with our problem. Okay, yeah, we don't want to do that. Is that a butterfly pin? That's pretty. Uh, uh, human? No, insect. Oh, it's like one of the things. Yeah, that's almost everything. Now we just need to destroy those spores before we shrink the fungi and get on with our lives. Right. Um, okay, cool. Uh, uh, this thing. Spores have a protective wall made up of layers of proteins and sugars, like an organic oh, armor. sweet. We need to find a way to pierce through it to keep them from dispersing further <sighs> and growing into new fungi. I just had a butterfly with a pin through it. We could have just stabbed it a whole bunch of times. Okay, there's got to be something else here, right? Uh, what, what do we got? I still need to scan things. Uh, hey, duck, go do your thing, buddy. I need you to go smack some air around. Hoo-ya! Don't, no, don't. I need you to smack it. Don't, sir, do not 
honk at me. Really? Really? Okay, fine. That's fine. You're you're done. Get back. Get back in the ship, sir. Get, is that your butt? Oh, it's the claw. Okay. Uh, what else? What else am I scanning here? I I guess scan this again. Oxygen tends to really hold yeah. on to its okay. electrons. If we break oxygen molecules, the atoms will try to steal electrons from whatever's in their sure, way. Sure, sure. Okay, there's one more thing we need to scan. That's, That's not it. Vapor. If we could collect all the water, nitrogen That's is not as aggressive as oxygen not when it. it comes to electrons, but it can create reactive molecules with oxygen. One way to break oxygen there molecules we go. would be to put up an electric field that overpowers the strong pull of their nuclei. Okay. I have the perfect tool for this. The drone has an ionizing wand which can rip electrons out of their bonds. Go ahead. I out. told the duck to do this literally seconds ago and he wasn't listening. Hoo See how the wand sparks when you press the trigger. Oh. Look, that oxygen molecule broke through the cell. Whoa. Wall. With the extra power from the mitochondria, we can create more of those molecules and get rid of the giant spore cloud too. Okay, now that we have a way to gather the spores in one area, a way to punch holes in their walls, and enough power to execute this on thousands uh -huh. of them, I think we're ready to clean up in the mountain realm. Yeah, but dude, look at the size of the tasers. Don't taser you, bro. <laughs> yeah, he got it. That's great, Duck. Okay, uh, we are going to go to the mountain realm and destroy some fungi. Oh. Ready to zap some So balls. ready. The electrostatic collector is automatic, so all you have to do is press the trigger. Got it, got it, got it, and zap. Good job. You've cleared yes. up the spores, so we won't have any more giant mushrooms. Oh, that's up. good. Let's shrink these and be done. Perfect. With it. Okay. Do I do I put this in here, and then just go kaboom? That's the last one. Well done. We did it. The rubber duck. Ah, yes. Let's take care of that as the last order of business and call it a day. We have some shrinkagen left over. Go ahead and use it on the rubber duck. All right, if you say so. You, the cause of all my problems. Let's take one more look at the human realm just to be sure. But I think we're finally... Yeah, okay. I really don't think we're in the clear. We had giant ants, a giant tardigrade. We had, I don't even remember. We had a protist that was consuming people left and right. And then we infected the entire world with fungus. There is no way people are alive down there. This has been a truly disastrous occasion. I should have never gone on this science tour. Everything looks oh. good to me. That was a wild oh, ride. The ducks! I can't wait to evaluate all that. I did better. it! My next experiments will go so much better than those Are you calling me a blue Oh my god. Hmm. So there is something I haven't really told what? you until now. Remember I said things can get tricky with shrinkagen? Well, this is how I know. But you were supposed to be locked away. The other ducks tried to warn you I was close. Oh. I just couldn't stay away when I noticed that beautiful creature out of Is the that lake. me? Oh, the rubber You mean duck. the big rubber ducky. We've already put it back to normal where it belongs. What? How dare you? I will unplug you no. once and for no. all. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Duck. Duck, what do we do? Oh. oh thank you, guys. Quick, the ducks brought us enough for one <gasps> last blast. Uh, yeah. Thank you, ducks. I'm so sorry I didn't find all of you. Where's my gun? Uh. Ah! Oh, that's cool. Oh, that hurt my brain. <sighs> that was close. Note to self, no more duck experiments. <laughs> no, I don't want to leave. Oh, look at all the ducks. That's my ideal world. More ducks than people. Dad, we're not really going to leave him here, are we? What? I'm in a movie theater. Hey, clap, 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 clap. Oh, that was great. Wolfpack, that was out of scale VR, a Kurzgesagt adventure. As you go throughout this adventure, you learn about things that you wouldn't normally learn about, and you see them in their environments in a way that only virtual reality can really bring you to. I think this is a great idea by this YouTube channel to, to make a VR game because it gives you a whole new world to explore that just the tiny little square on YouTube wouldn't be able to provide. Uh, I definitely learned a few things. I hope you guys did too. But we're not quite done with this game. There is a mixed reality experience. Uh, we're gonna play that next. 
I don't know if it's going to be its own separate or it'll be at the end of this video. I don't know how long or how expansive it is, uh, but we're going to go check that out either way. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I did that last duck. Oh, I want to get that last duck. You. I love you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're the best. Welcome back to Out of Scale VR, or if it's at the end of the second video, hello again, everybody. Uh, one of the things we can do is you can go back to any chapter that you want to, so we could go and hunt that last duck we missed. But we are here for the home lab. We have six new males. We're going to experience the wonder of scale in the real world. Decorate your space with souvenirs from your adventure. So let's go give this a try, shall we? Oh, I'm, I'm home. I've, I've got a box. This is this is cool. Okay, we got the we got the office going. Uh, hello. Ooh. What? Let's collaborate. Hi. This is. Uh, hi. Even though your first experiment didn't go as planned, it was still the most fun I've had in ages. To keep the good times rolling, I'm sending you the tools to make a simplified scale research lab wherever you are. Okay. Enjoy. Th thank you so much. Um, okay, what do I do? The first tool is a disc that has everything you need for your private scale lab. Just press the lower face button on your controller to summon it. Uh, Once it's open, use the thumbstick to navigate it. Okay. Oh my this gosh. This is your inventory. To take something out, point at it and press the trigger. Like a donut. To put it away, hold it over the inventory and let go. I got a donut. Try putting that donut in your <laughs> Yeah. You can scale it by pressing the upper face button on your controller. Oh. When you like how it looks, <gasps> use the thumbstick to move it where you want to put oh, it. Oh my god. You can also hold the trigger to rotate it. And just let go. Oh my god. How do I, how do I un... That's mm. pausing? Interesting choice. How do I unscale the donut? There it is. Oh, yeah. I, right there. That's perfect. Now no one can get in my room while I'm working. Okay, uh, can I scale this? Oh yes, okay, that's gonna go right on my wall. Uh, perfect, beautiful. Oh my God, this is really working out for me. Hold trigger and use a thumbstick to rotate. Oh, what if I want, there, there we go. I just gotta twist my control. Come on, get it straight. Get it straight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. This, this is going to be the best. Okay, what, do I have anything else in my inventory? Yes, I do. So yeah, this is just, we're just going to tack this on at the end of the second video. Um, I got the multi-tool. Nice. Let's grab that. Yeah. Can we scan the donut? Mmm. Donuts. Sugar-filled car bombs of pure bliss. Who doesn't love them, right? Oh my god, I need this. I need the tardigrade postcard. Yeah, you're going to be my Steve, entire wall. If you ask me. Everyone should have a tardigrade. Yes. Here's yours. Yes. You've earned it. Thank you. That, 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 this is my everything. That is my everything. Oh, I want that in my actual room. Okay, what else do we have in our inventory here? We have, so I can only fit 20 items. Oh, we can get, yes, give me the, now, yes. This is a fun one. You can hang out with creatures from your adventure. Yes. When you're done hanging out, use the recall button to send them back. Can I not scale him? So is he just, he's just kind of here? It seems a little shy, but I think you're winning it over. <gasps> oh my god, I, you're so cute, Franklin. I'm so happy you're in my house. Can we get... Oh, can I get more? No. What else? Okay, so we have the inventory and we have the creatures. How do I... Ah, wait, go back to the creatures. Oh, I only have the two. <laughs> Look at this, it's flying around. <laughs> this... This is why a moon? Yes, please. Ah, oh, you're so happy. <laughs> we're, we're, I can't even comprehend the size of the moon. You can only see the tiny little parts of it. Okay, let's shrink that guy down. We're gonna put him up in the corner here. There you go. That's yeah, Mr. Moon. Okay, what else we got? What else is cool? Airplane, we got a city. So it's everything that you collected. In the game, you now have a black hole, yes please, available to you to use and put in this room. This, this is cool. Put that right next to the moon so there's trouble a-brewing. Look at that effect there. That's bananas. All right, Wolfpack. This has been the Kurtzgazat, and I'm saying that so poorly. Hi, Franklin. Adventure. Uh, it is an incredible little educational game. I think kids, you know, older kids, 
uh, and adults will get a kick out of this. You, you learn a lot. It's presented really, really well. It is fun. It is entertaining. And it looks awesome. This is just a fun little bonus thing. It's eating the donut. Go get him, Franklin. Get the ant. <sighs> he's going to eat him. He's going to eat him. Yeah. Oh, he's wanted some donut too. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. I know I did. Till next time, Wolfpack. <laughs> <laughs>